हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी मल्टीप्लायर्स एंड डिवाइडर वीडियो सीरीज एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन वेरी पॉपुलर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी शॉर्ट सो बी विद मी टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट एस गेट स्टार्ट before starting this video i would like to give one information that we have created a many videos on clock frequency dividers and we have tried to generalize the method so that you can divide any clock frequency by any number without putting much effort so we have given those type of methods also in those videos you must go through them and you can get the playlist in the description section as well as in the end screen section and one request from my side those who have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it because we keep on creating such type of videos regularly now let us come to the point towards the crux of the video and the question is on your screen here you have to design a clock frequency multiplier which should be capable of multiplying input clock frequency by 2 and this type of logic is also called as frequency doubler logic Now you can pause my video here try to think of it try to develop your own logic if you come to know its logic write it down in the comment section we will discuss it there otherwise i will reveal its answer now let me reveal its answer this is the logic which is capable of multiplying input frequency by 2 and this logic is also called as frequency doubler logic i will explain two things how this logic is capable of multiplying input frequency by 2 and the second very important thing i'm going to tell you the trick if someone ask you this type of question at the time of interview or at the or at the pressure conditions how you should approach its answer the first step to solve this type of problem is draw the input frequency waveform that is f in and draw the output frequency waveform as well here the output frequency is double of the input frequency and in my case i am not considering any phase difference now look at the waveform very carefully we need to change the output frequency at the granularity level of t by 4 this time is t by 4 and we need to change the output value so i am calling it as a granularity level so granularity level is t by 4 so what we need to do now the trick is you should delay this input frequency by that much time that means by granularity level so i'm going to delay this input frequency by t by 4 and this and simply xor f in by this waveform you will get your desired frequency i forgot to mention what is this t this t is time period of this f in signal now let us do xor operation together on f in signal and t by 4 signal and see whether we get f out that is f in by 2 frequency here f in is 0 t by 4 is 0 as per the xor operation we should get 0 and we are getting 0 if f in is 1 t by 4 is 0 we should get 1 if f in is 1 t by 4 is 1 both are same so as per xor gate we should get 0 if f in is 0 t by 4 is 1 we should get 1 if f in is 0 t by 4 is 0 as per xor output should be 0 so that means we are getting f out as per our expectation friend this is very popularly asked interview question so we explain it in our channel but practically when we need to multiply clock frequency in asic world or as well as in fpga domain we use some different methods like clock managers pls or dls here pl stands for phase lock loop and dl stands for delay lock loop these are very popular methods to multiply clock frequency by any number why this type of method is not popularly used because it is very difficult to control this delay very precisely now in this example where we want the f out signal to have 50% duty cycle and its frequency should be multiplied by 2 as compared to the input clock frequency the delay value should be very precisely equal to t by 4 where t is a time period of f in signal but because of process variations and some other parameters in the manufacturing process we cannot control this delay very precisely 
फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इज इफ दिस डिले कैनॉट बी कंट्रोल वेरी प्रिसाइजली इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी नीड इट टू बी कलू टी बाई फोर नाउ लेट एस एज्यूम दैट दिस डिले इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम टी बाई फोर वट विल हैपन टू अवर आउटपुट सिग्नल एफ आउट दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द इफेक्ट ऑफ दिस डिले वेरिएशन वी विल डिस्कस इन अ सेपरेट वीडियो एंड वंस दैट वीडियो इज क्रिएटेड आई विल शेयर इट्स लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन एज वेल एज एट द एंड स्क्रीन and maybe you can get in the ibar section as well for the timing i'm going to end this lecture and i hope that this would be quite informative and interesting for all of you and in future also we are going to create many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching